Alex, and today I will be telling you guys 10 tips for beginners for my singing monsters. So as you may know, many people that come to my videos are beginners that just started, and I know that beginners obviously need some tips for things like diamonds, food, keys, star power, and coins, and maybe some monsters. So yeah, let's get started. So first tip is going to be about diamonds because I know many beginners really want diamonds. And one of the easiest ways to get diamonds in My Singing Monsters is by going to your options, clicking on Submit Referral, and then putting in 8635930 capital K capital G and it's really that simple you guys can pause the video to copy this code down or you can write it on a piece of paper and then uh, click done or whatever you have or like yeah just basically anything and then click submit and yeah it's really simple you get five diamonds and I also get five diamonds so it's a really simple way and it helps me out too with my videos for my breeding videos and everything like that but yeah that was tip number one and let's move on to tip number two so the tip number two is also going to be for diamonds this one is also really really simple all you have to do is just go to friends you gotta click on invite friends and then if you haven't done this method already there will be no diamonds here on the right or on the left but i've already done this method but if you haven't all you have to do is just like click on via email you don't even have to do invite via email you could just click on it and then click off and then you'll just get the diamonds automatically and same with facebook you could just click on and then click off without doing anything and you'll get the diamonds so it's really really simple so number three is going to be our first tip for coins now obviously coins can be gained from monsters or from bonuses from monsters but since you're a beginner you probably won't be getting bonuses since you can probably only get them on level 20 i'm pretty sure or 15 i don't quite remember but one of those and yeah they're they're pretty the bonuses are pretty good you can also get diamonds from them and you know all that good stuff and star power but it, it takes quite a lot of effort to get like a, a million like actually more than a million food probably actually with my wallbook six took like 15 million food or something but the easiest way to get coins is just by placing monsters so if you're like a beginner beginner you just have like a t-rox or maybe an end brat what i recommend you to do if you have an end brat already all you have to do is just breed that end brat with a t-rox you also have a chance of getting a guest it'll be like one day and you know it'll be a very long time and also you can just keep placing the t-roxes down you also gain xp which will level you up which uh, i'm pretty sure well i'm not sure if it gives you any um uh, rewards from the goals but i'm i'm not sure actually but it also levels you up for new monsters for example like the wubix um you can get it on level 20 and also if you place down the t-rexes they also get more monies and then you can upgrade your castle and stuff and then you can save up money for a wabix and then you'll get more coins for example here i have 50 million coins i spent my coins i had 400 million coins i had 10 times more than that but i spent it all on food and i got 30 million food you guys can also check my video out where i collect all that food in the description down below also uh, the tip number four is also for coins now this one isn't that great but by doing the memory game i guess i'll do the memory game and speed it up um I'm a memory game speedrunner, as you may know, but um, I'll speed the footage up because, well, you guys probably don't want me, don't want five minutes of me playing the memory game, so yeah, let's just speed this up. Alright, boys, so you can see here that I got 3,200 coins. Now, I'm pretty sure the memory game is rigged, but you can get up to 3 million coins, but I'm not sure if it changes for the level you have. But, yeah, you could get up to, like, 3 million coins, and I got 3,200 coins, <clears throat> which is decent for a beginner. Also, if you want more tips on how to get coins, go check my videos down below in the description down below. I have, like, way more tips on how to get coins. 
But yeah, let's get on to tip number five. So tip number five is for star power, obviously. Now star power is, well, decently easy to get. All you have to do is just get into a tribe. Um, you can get into a tribe by, well, you can either make your own and invite some friends on Discord, or you could go on my Discord server and ask some people to join your tribe. I know it worked very well for some people. You can also go on Reddit or something, and then you can ask people there to join your tribe, or you could join someone else's tribe that's saying, uh, that the, uh, that the person wants people to join their tribe, and, um, by leveling up your monster... You get star power, so for example, I got level 40. <clears throat> That's going to be pretty hard to get if you're a beginner. But if you can get to like level 5, you'll get like, probably like 50 star power, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to lie, that's still pretty good. I get like 500 star power or something. But yeah, that's one way to get star power. There's another way, which is from bonuses, again, from level 20. But you're probably not going to be uh, having monsters level 20 at level like 15. Uh... But, yeah, that's for tip number five. I also have a video on that. Description down below. Um, tip number six is for keys. So, as you may know, keys can be used to buy dipsters, for example. I actually don't. You can't see my dipsters there, but you can see the ZZZs. I muted them because I don't really like dipsters on Plant Island. But, uh, here, you can see my dipsters and they can be bought for keys for example on cold island they can be bought for two keys plant island they could be bought each one could be bought for one key and for ether island they each could be bought for seven key which is a lot so yeah i'm going to be telling you guys how to get keys now personally i think <clears throat> one of the better methods to get keys is to get a friend that also plays my singing monsters and uh, just gift keys to each other every week so you guys can keep get gaining keys to get dipsters. Yeah, it's really simple. I have 543 keys, but that's because I'm a YouTuber and people give me a lot of keys, which is really cool. But I recommend you and your friend just keep giving each other keys so you guys can get the dipsters. It's, it's really simple. It's not even that too hard. But, yeah, that was tip number six. On to tip number seven. So, tip number seven is actually going to be for food. Now, if you're a beginner, you're probably going to be baking, like, cookies, bread, donuts, you know, ice cream. But many people, when they're, like, level 20, they might save up five million coins to buy a cake or to buy a big salad. But, if you're a beginner, never ever buy the big salad it's a waste of money all you it's really really bad it may take less time to cook but you only get 750,000 food for example for 10 million i could get two cakes which would give me one million food which is a lot but if you use the big salad and you waste your 10 million coins on just one big salad, you're going to get like 25% less, which is 750,000 food. It's not really worth it to buy a big salad. So for beginners, just never buy a big salad. It's, it's just not worth it, guys. Just don't do it. All right, on to tip number 18. So for tip number 18, it's going to be about monsters. This is going to be related to friends again. Uh, I recommend you do these on, like, Discord or, you know, Reddit or something. Or message your friend that also plays my singing monsters so you can ask them to play my singing monsters. And now, if you didn't know, you can light torches to get a better chance of breeding monsters. Uh, I actually don't have any torches with Also, you can light your own torches, but I don't really recommend lighting your own torches. It's not really worth it. Two diamonds, eh, not really worth it. I don't recommend you do that, guys. But... What you can do is you can ask friends or people on Discord to light your torches, and you'll you'll say you, you will light their torches back, and it's a win-win for both of you guys, and you also have better chances of getting a monster. For example, if you're a beginner, you're gonna try to get like something like Entbrat, wait, and if you have torches lit, you'll have a better chance of getting Entbrat. It's really cool. Now, tip number nine is going to be. For monsters again, and this one applies to rare monsters. So many beginners think that there is a certain breeding combination for rare monsters. The only certain breeding combinations for rare monsters are 
for monsters that are have only one element. So, for example, Mammoth, uh, Toe Jammer, and you know all those monsters. They have a br specific breeding combination. It's like a three element plus a three element. You can go check my videos out on that if you guys need to. But on every monster that has like uh you know like two elements, three elements, four elements. They're all just gonna be the same breeding combination as their, uh, you know, as their normal version. So, for example, to breed a rare clamble, you're going to need this. It's gonna be the same combination for normal clamble. It's really simple. I don't know why many beginners don't know this. It's a really, really simple trick. It's, it's just a thing to help you out, guys. Just don't search up videos on that or don't go on like the wiki or something for like a monster that's like. Uh, rare Flog, all you have to do to breed Rare Flog is literally, you can do Entrat plus Flog, or you can do Noggin plus, um, a Toe Jammer. It's really, really simple. Like, come on, guys. Um, I don't know why many people don't know this. I guess it's because they're obviously beginners, of course. But for Epics, for Epics, it doesn't apply like that. They have also have a specific breeding combination. For example, Epic Frog has a specific breeding combination. Or like Epic Punkleton has a specific breeding combination. Uh, which is, uh, you know, Enbrat plus Drumpler. If you guys need that, you're welcome. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, let's get on to tip number 10. Now, this tip is going to be for everything. And the tip is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because I have... The best methods on how to get stuff, for example, diamonds, coins, food, keys, star power, monsters. And I always upload a video every day, which is really, really cool, guys. But yeah, guys, that's basically going to be it for the video. I hope this video helped you guys out. And yeah, see ya.